What is going on guys? My name is Drew. Obviously you guys have known me for my short form content. We're finally going to get started with this long form video so I can relate more to my audience, relate more to you, give you way more in-depth synopsis and details of my life, and I'm going to try to provide as much value as I possibly can to you guys. So I'm recording this on a Thursday, so I'm about to hit like 45 minutes of zone 2 work. I have a 3 mile sled drag, and then I'm going to do some bike work, try to keep my heart rate around 130 and I'm gonna document that for you guys. And then tomorrow, I'm gonna to do a full day of eating and full day of training, long form for you all. All right, so we just finished our zone two work. We did three miles on the sled, pretty much just walked up and back down the street for three miles with 90 pounds on my back. It absolutely burns the quads and hamstrings like no other, but it keeps my heart rate pretty consistently at 130, so I stay in that zone two range, and I feel really good tomorrow after getting this type of work in today. All I really use for the sled drag is these rusty 45 pound plates and then I have this little sled that wraps around my back and I just walk with it. It works well. Alright everyone, it's the next morning. This means it's training day. So today we got a double session. I'm going to do a Metcon in the morning and then I'm going to do a ton of lifting in the afternoon. I'll pull it up in a second. But right now, I always just try to come outside in the morning, get some water in. I drink about 28 ounces of water every single morning. Just get in the sunlight, reset my circadian rhythm, and then I take some yoked. Um, so pretty much, this is kind of where I come out and just kind of like get some peace in the morning. So I'll put it up, pull it up on the screen, but I woke up this morning with a 75% recovery on Whoop, which isn't terrible. I'm in the green, so we love to see that. And then we got seven hours and 12 minutes of sleep last night with one hour and 42 minutes of deep in two hours and 28 minutes of REM. So I always shoot between four to five hours of REM and deep a night, which is really good. So I'm happy about that. It's not about the quality necessarily. It's about the, it's not about the quantity, it's about the quality. So my breakfast this morning is gonna be, I'm gonna do three whole eggs on an English muffin. I might do two and two, so I'll do two English muffins and then two whole eggs on each. Then I'll do about a cup of blueberries and a 20 gram protein yogurt. I try to stay pretty consistent with my breakfast every morning because I know it helps my stomach and pretty much just keeps me not on the toilet all day long. So with a lot of training and a lot of movement in my stomach, this is definitely something that sits well and I have no problems with it during my training. All right, we just cooked up this magnificent meal. Two egg sandwiches, some blueberries, and some yogurt. Let's, oh wait, we gotta get some ketchup first. I know ketchup isn't super optimal, but it's definitely, definitely necessary. So I'm gonna put some ketchup on here, just a little though, nothing, nothing too crazy, just a little extra flavor. And then, let's take a bite and see how it is. This yolk already broke, gotta love that, and stripping everywhere. Mmm, very good. So every morning before training, I take my Reds powder. Helps with digestion, gut health. So I get this in. And then, my morning supplement stack, I'll have my gut health probiotic, krill oil, magnesium bisglycinate, which helps with sleep and muscle cramping, and my multivitamin. I think everyone should be having at least those vitamins every single morning. So I'm gonna mix this up, and I usually just take this and just swig all that down too. So just like that, I get all these in my hand, shape this up a little bit, and down the hatch they go. Oh damn. Yeah, nine at one time was definitely a, definitely a lot. Now for the morning sessions, I typically don't take a lot of stim, so I'll just do a, like a half scoop of this pump product, which works super well for me. It gets the blood flowing, gets me gets me moving, so I'm not like super fatigued or super lethargic at my morning training session. So like I said, just a half scoop here, and then that's a pump, and then I'll do like an, an eighth of a scoop of pre-workout just to kind of get some caffeine in my body so it signals that it's go time. It's kind of like a 
sort of like an anchoring thing for me. So I'll get a little bit of that in, maybe a little more. And then shake it on up and I will catch you guys at my morning session. soaked after that one, but we got it done, felt good. Now we're off to the next clip. All right, we just got back from session one. So pretty much all my morning sessions when I do double session work is engine building and some sort of gymnastic work. So obviously my weakness right now with CrossFit is my gymnastics, which have come a long way in four months of training and my cardio and endurance, which have also come a long way, but it's still not to the standard and the elite level that I want it to be. So I came into this CrossFit world with obviously a really good strength, power, and athletic base, but my, my engine just wasn't there. So it was very, it's very difficult for me to do game style EMOMs and workouts when I'm not there lung capacity wise. So that's why my morning sessions are when I feel the most primed, the most, I can give them my all and I feel I can just go absolutely all in and train as hard as I can doing those morning sessions. So now I'm gonna get some work done, eat for like the next two or three hours, and then you'll catch me for session two. All right, so for lunch today, we're gonna do some bison meat sticks. Honey barbecue meat sticks from Dakota Pure Bison, absolutely goaded. 15 grams of protein and 15, uh, 15 cows per stick. I have ground bison in the fridge, but it's six days old at this point, and I'm not really trying to test the waters too much with that, so. That's why I'm going, going with bison sticks and rice. This afternoon for lunch, I'm gonna do about 300 grams of rice in here. Jasmine rice always. I think it's just way better di for digestion. And it's a lower FODMAP type deal. Like I said though, typically I meal prep so I don't have to have all this to cook in the afternoon. It saves me a ton of time. And then I'm just literally gonna pop these open and just cut them up just like that. If you guys want some of these, Code Drew will save you. I absolutely love their their bison. It's way better than store bought stuff because store bought stuff can taste like smoky, and that's obviously not what we want. So I'm just gonna dice this all up, eat it, and then prepare my supplements and head to session number two. All right guys, so for today's workout, we had a lot of snatch work with volume. So here we're hitting 175 for two, I believe. And this is pretty much just my fifth or sixth set and warming me up for my, hip, my heavier sets later in the workout. Now here we're hitting 185. So we did this for a couple reps as well before working up to 195 for two. 195 was absolutely moving. Two reps felt great. I've come a long way in the past four months training CrossFit. And the reason I'm doing it with these short rest time intervals is so I can improve my strength while also improving my endurance. So it makes it extra difficult. Making sure to stay extra hydrated in between this and then all the back squat work I'm about to do. So in my drink is always cluster dextrin, which is a fast digesting carb source and electrolytes. So right now I'm about to hit 305 for four on back squat, then directly into 305 for eight on back squat. Four sets. This is probably the toughest thing I've ever done in the gym. And let me tell you, it gets you going like no other. So when you have volume work like this, make sure to stay hydrated and warm in between sets because it can take a beating on your knees. And the last thing we want to do is create chronic problems long term. <laughs> Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right, so we just finished up the session with handstand push-ups. Now we're gonna go home, drink a protein shake, if you up. We got it done today.
All right guys, so now we're back home post training. Honestly, today went really well, I felt good. Typically on Fridays, it's hit or miss. Sometimes my knees can be a little off on Fridays or I'm just a little fatigued too much from all the workload from Monday to Thursday. But I hit 195 for two on a 15 minute EMOM. So I had about a minute rest like each time. And honestly, my, my like stability and my shoulders felt great. And then the front squats and the back squats at 75% is absolutely deathly. I did 305 into, so I did four front squats at 305 into obviously the eight back squats. Four sets of that really gets you fired up. Then the Metcon went super well. Did some handstand push-ups because that is a weakness. Overhead strength is something I'm trying to improve as well as my endurance. And now we're gonna have probably like a scoop and a half of Transparent Labs grass-fed whey protein isolate. I'm a big fan of this type of protein. I don't know about you guys, but like when I used to drink um, protein shakes from other companies or not grass fed, I would, it would literally go right through me. So I, for the longest time, I wasn't drinking protein with water. I would just kind of not either, not either, either get it through food or blend it up. But I found this to be absolutely amazing and super easy on my gut. And so tonight I'm going out to dinner with Liz. So maybe I'll get some footage with that or not, but I will check back in on you guys tonight before I wrap up this video. Just got back from dinner, had an absolutely great night. Now it's time for me to wind down, go to bed and get ready for tomorrow's training day. I hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as I did. Plenty more to come. I'm excited to start this journey with you guys and I'll see you in the next one. Make sure to like and subscribe.